Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will go through the day 30 problem from the July Lead Coding Challenge, Word Break 2. Please like the video and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any update. Given a non empty string S and a dictionary word dict containing a list of non empty words, add spaces in S to construct a sentence where each word is a valid dictionary word and return all such possible sentences. For example 1, we can see that string s can be broken in three different sentences from the words in dictionary. Similarly, for example 2. Let's take the first example and try to picturize the process. We need to create this word from the given set of word in the dictionary. At the start, we will have the whole word. For this word, if we look into the dictionary, try finding words, it is starting with, we get pine and pineapple. So, if we break the word, we are left with shorter string to break further. Now let's try to break the string. Here we can see we have two matching starting string in the dictionary, apple and apple pen. After breaking the word using these two strings, we get two more words which are the suffixes of previous string. Again, if we go to the left string, we can see we have a matching prefix in the dictionary. So we break this word further. Now, as we try to look for prefixes for apple, we find the whole word apple in the dictionary. So after using it, we are left with an empty string. This will be the exit condition. And we can see we got a splitted string as shown. Now we backtrack to the unvisited node. Here we see that word apple is in the dictionary and if we use it, we will be left with an empty string. So we will add the new splitted string in the result. With this, the left path is completed. So we now go to the other part of our tree or diagram and break the word as we did earlier. From this, we got one more splitted string and we add it in the result. As now no more roots are left unvisited, we will return the result string in the desired format. Now what if instead of empty string, we were left with a smaller substring at the end that did not match with the word in the dictionary. In that case, the splitted string would not be added in the result as we could not make the exact string by using the words in the dictionary. Let's visualize the complete tree. Here we are calculating the result for all the nodes irrespective of whether we have already calculated its result or not. Thus, we end up performing redundant calculations and if the time frame is constrained, the program will throw a TLE or a time limit exceeded error. So to eliminate the duplicate calculations, we can use memoization. For this example, we can see we have done calculations twice for pen apple and thrice for apple. If instead of calculating the result for them every time, we reuse the result, the diagram would have looked like this. Here we can see the number of calculations have reduced. The redundancy is eliminated. This diagram thus depicts how we can perform memoization in previous approach. Let's see the algorithm for same. We initialize a variable length to store the length of input string. We also initialize an array of list of string to store result or the splitted string for the input string starting from a specified index. We then call the recursive helper method to find the word break at index 0 and return the result for the first character. Now let's see the helper method. We first check if we have already calculated the solution for this position. If yes, we simply return it, otherwise we calculate it. For that, we initialize list of string, pause string, to hold the list of words broken for string starting from a current position. We iterate over the dictionary and for each word in dictionary, we check if the string starts with this word or not. If it does, we check if it is the last piece of string or not. If yes, we add the string in pause string list and continue for the next word. Otherwise, we recursively call the method on string starting from current position plus length of word and store its result in a temp list. We then iterate over the temp list and add all the combinations of word and string separated by space. At the end, we add the pause string in result for current position and return the position string. Here's the actual code snippet for the method. You can also find a link to this code in the description below. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. 
Also, let me know in the comments what you think about the video.